channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and this is to find out what you need to know at this time, okay? So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. What do they need to know at this time regarding their love life, finance, career, friendship, family, whatever. What messages do you have for Pisces at this time? Okay, what does Pisces need to know at this time? What messages do we have for Pisces? Okay, we have the star coming through here, Pisces. Let me see if I can make this clearer for you. Oh, let's give it another boop. There we go. Okay, so you have the star coming through. So for some of you, you might be dealing with an Aquarius. And for others, I'm seeing here that this is a time of healing for you. Something's going on. I'm getting, um, this could be healing that you need, like self-healing, uh, physical healing. This could be spiritual healing, emotional healing. Um, definitely some kind of healing coming through here. Uh, also, um, having hope restored for some of you. And like I said, you may also be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. So let's see what else does Pisces need to know? Okay. Very interesting. What else does Pisces need to know? Now keep in mind, this is a general reading. So not every card is going to resonate with you. And then again, it may. So just take what resonates and what doesn't, don't even worry about it. Okay. So we have temperance coming through here. So doing things with careful thought and, uh, contempla uh contemplation, um, moderation all, all along those lines. Okay. So for some of you, there's just like a lot of, um, a lot of thinking going on here and it could have been like throughout this healing process you're doing a lot of meditating a lot of healing a lot of self-discovery i'm hearing um as well as having some epiphanies and you're just trying to do things like one day at a time doing things like i said also in moderation okay and then we have the queen of wands coming through here so for some of you you may be dealing with a fire sign female uh aries leo sagittarius if it's not Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it could just be the energy of a fire sign, which is somebody that's like very uh, feisty. It could be somebody that's very sexual, somebody that is uh, like a firecracker, you know, hot tempered, uh, very passionate, creative person. Okay. So that energy is coming through. Maybe you had a falling out with someone of this sign or energy. And, you know, this is letting you know if you take it one day at a time, things will heal. Things will get better. Okay? You just have to stay on that path. So I'm going to pull from the love deck now. Uh, and let's see what's going on as far as the love relationship goes here. What's going on as far as the love relationship goes? What does Pisces need to know regarding the love portion of their life? For those of you watching this that are seeking that. Okay, we have mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. So like I said, there might be a lot of like self-revelation coming here with introspection. You're really thinking about things, you're internalizing. You also may, may be very alike with this person where you mirror each other and you may not realize that whatever quality I'm hearing you don't like about them could be the very quality that you um, exude as well. Okay, self-image. Some of you may have an issue with your self-image here. Maybe you're being looked at in uh, like a, a more sexual manner and, and you don't like it. And so maybe this is an issue of where you may need to change your self-image uh, depending on your surroundings. Uh, I'm hearing for some of you this could be work-related. Maybe, um, maybe you dress a little bit provocative or inappropriate for work, but you know, you, you're fine with it. You like it. You're comfortable with your body and, you know, the way you look, but you know, you may be getting some rumors around the water cooler, you know, uh, about you due to that. So maybe while you're at work, you may want to tone that down a little bit less cleavage. You know what I mean? Uh, stuff like that. And if you're a guy, then it could just be maybe you're making advancements that you shouldn't be doing. You're, you know, you're coming off as a little too flirty. Okay. So you need to tone that down. All right. It, anyway, it flies for you here. Like I said, it's a general reading. Okay. All right. So let's see what advice and guidance do we have for you at this time? 
What advice and guidance do we have for Pisces at this time? Well, that was delightful. My guides, they, they pull some cool tricks. Okay, father healing. So for some of you here, there may be daddy issues. Your power, your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. So if you have daddy issues, you need to work on that. You need to let it go because it's only going to help you in the long run, okay? You need to, to be aware of that, okay? You're not doing it for them. You're doing it for you, all right? Let's see. What other messages do we have here? You might also have, like, baby daddy issues or something like that, you know? Okay, what other? Okay, so you're being told here with whatever you're dealing with, let it out, let it flow. Open up the heart to feel. So for some of you, you may be harboring some stuff here, and that's another reason why you need this healing. You're not letting it out. You're harboring it. Don't harbor it. Let it out. Release it. Now, I'm not saying attack someone, verbally abuse someone or anything like that that you're angry at. I mean, maybe you need to. It all depends on the situation. But if this is something that you, is it's old, you're no longer dealing with this person or the situation that you're still angry about is old and you've already spoke about it and you just are harboring it and you're not letting it go. You need to let it go. I suggest maybe seeking um, sessions with the therapist, somebody that's biased to vent to. If somebody sees a therapist, a, psychi a psychiatrist, anything like that, it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. It's just we all are able to release our issues in different ways and sometimes communicating with a biased person it helps you know because you're seeing somebody that has then they have no reason to be against you it, it's like just like i said a, a biased person that you can talk to and get the truth from and then nobody knows you're there nobody knows what you're talking about you know what I mean? It's just between you and this other person. So it can give you a better uh, sense of the picture that you're trying to finally like absorb everything and let go what you need to let go. Okay. They can help you biasly do that. And then we have walk your own journey. It is essential to stay on your own path. So for those of you that might be, you know, trying to do what somebody else wants you to do or, you know, you're a follower, you know, uh, you may want to just be your own self, be an individual because you are fantastic. You are amazing and you have a lot to offer. So you may not have much self-confidence thinking that you can, you know, walk your own path that people would still, you know, be friends with you or, you know, interested in you. You can't think that way. Every single one of us is unique in our own way and we all have something to offer. Okay. We all have something to bring to the table. And if, one person doesn't see and appreciate that. Well, someone else will, then that person's not for you. Okay, So don't judge yourself based on the opinion of others. Okay. All right. What else do you need to know, Pisces? What other messages do we have for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? Success. Okay. You've got some success coming your way. Let's see. What else? What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know? Okay, for some of you, you're in a waiting period, okay? If it, if it resonates with you, like if you understand that card, as soon as I showed you and you went, ah, okay, that's for you. If you looked at it and went, what, what do you mean? What waiting? Then that's not for you, okay? Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm actually being told to go to this deck. This is a larger deck. All right, let's see. I'm gonna shuffle it this way. What does Pisces need to know? Okay, take the lead. All right, Pisces, like it said here, walk your own path. You're being told to take the lead. Lead yourself. Take the lead. Lead yourself, okay? All right, let's see. Okay, um, 
If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe if you're interested in any spell work, um, healing services, or products. My, I have my own, <clears throat> my own Oracle deck. My timing stones, everything's down below in the description box. Uh, zenwithinme.com, as well as my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me. And then I have my merch shelf down below, Give the Gift of Zen. Um, all of my products down below in the merch shelf are customizable, so you can change the color and the size and all that stuff. You can really have fun with it. All right, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Pisces? I'm also going to be doing um, a What You Have Ahead in January 2023. Actually, all of 2023 reading. I'm going to be doing that over the next couple of weeks. So subscribe and stay tuned for your sign. And if you would like to purchase your own private year ahead of 2023, I have that available at zenwithinme.com. You can purchase that. Now I have two options. You can get career or love for the following year, or you can get career and love for the following year. Of course, the and is more expensive because now I'm doing two readings in the one where the other one, you just get the option of one. Okay. So please feel free to check that out. All right. Freedom. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bond. See, we had here, let it flow, open up the heart to feel. And then you have this freedom card. You are meant to start 2023 free. Okay, you need to let go of whatever it is that I said earlier you are har harboring. And we have the first card came out, healing, okay? Maybe it's an issue you have with an Aquarius, maybe something with a fire sign, whatever it is. You need to do some healing, but this is a you problem, okay? And I don't say that in a mean way. I say it as in you are holding on to this. You need to learn how to deal with it to release it for you. Again, I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment, fire sign, fire energy. Didn't I say that? To block the good. You, you have a blockage because of whatever it is you're holding on to that all this prosperity and, and good health and happiness and healing is not coming your way because you won't let it go. So like I said, you are hurting you. This is a you problem that you need to deal with. You need to straighten this out, okay? So when you release this, you will receive all of the good and the benefits that you deserve and that are just waiting to come to you, okay? It's a process. You have to do this to get that, capiche? Okay, release me from its bonds. All right, so that is your message, Pisces. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love. Check out my links down below in the description box as well as my uh, merch shelf, and I will see you in the next reading.